You can see the flames are kind of clipping into this bottom plane here. We want them to fade or not have them where there's that really jarring kind of cutoff. You can see as the flames sort of expand outward, you can see that there's this really kind of jarring cutoff. So we want to fix that. Uh, that's what I brought in the depth fade node for. So I'm going to just click zero and create one more parameter. I'm going to call this depth fade. I'm going to give this a default value of 20. I'm going to plug this into the fade distance. And what this node is doing is it's going to detect where other surfaces are and decrease the opacity based on distance. This is an extremely powerful node that uh, is one of the main reasons that you use additive and translucent materials is that we can get them to fade uh, when they touch objects instead of clip into them, which is a very, very nice effect. Uh, so I'm just going to plug this end chain result into the opacity here. And then I'm just going to plug this into the opacity on the main uh, material out output here. And when I compile that, you can see now the flames are not interacting with the bottom like they were before. It's this uh, nice sort of faded fall off where there's no clipping, which is really nice.